Welcome. The video I'm sharing with you today is a time-lapse tutorial on how I used masking and heat embossing techniques to create the single layer Snowflake Wishes holiday card. The inspiration for today's card came from a Jennifer McGuire tutorial and um, I definitely followed along and had some trial and error um, experiences. Instead of using masking paper as she did in her tutorial, I actually just used cardstock and this uh, foil quill magnetic mat. So here you see that I am lining up my, my single layer card base with this cardstock template and I just used some sort of basic circle dice to create this mask. And I'm using sponge daubers to add some ink. That was Pretty Peacock and Pacific Point, Rococo Rose. And here I'm also going to add in one of the inserts of the circle die cuts to get this overlapped ornament look. And now I'm flipping it around. I put the purple piece over and Yep, I use Gorgeous Grape and Calypso Coral, I believe are the colors that I use. Now I've already set up my Samparatus here. I've placed the snowflakes um, using the mask, but now I'm just double checking that they're aligning with my ink blended ornaments. And now what I just showed you is a Versamark pen. So I actually found a Versamark pen at one of my local craft stores because I liked one of the small snowflakes in this cluster stamp at the top, but I only needed the one snowflake for my ornament. So it was a really useful um, pen in this scenario. Okay, so now I've used my Versamark sticky ink and I'm applying a white embossing powder. One of the other aspects of Jennifer McGuire's tutorial that didn't work for me was embossing first and ink blending on top of it afterwards. She wiped away a lot of the ink and for me it didn't work. It left a lot of the ink on the white heat embossed uh, image. So I chose to ink up my ornaments first and then um, heat emboss after that. So now I'm going to add in a bow and um, a string for each of the ornaments. This bow came from the So Much Happy stamp set. I believe that's in our current annual catalog for Stampin' Up. I'm using masking to make sure that I can get the bow for the purple ornament behind the teal one. And this line stamp the straight line stamp came from a very old paper pumpkin. I think it was um, day by day from like December 2018. And now I'm heat embossing just the same way that I did for the white. Very basic here. I really, with this tutorial, just wanted to show you how I brought this whole stamp set, um, this whole card together. And now I learned a new tip recently. This is the silicon mat. I put some liquid glue dots just glue and I put the sequin onto the glue to pick up the glue and then put that on my card instead of putting glue on my finished card because I didn't want it to smudge or smear around so I learned this technique and then your silicon mat can wipe off and wash off pretty quickly and so that is the finished card thank you for joining me for this very quick time-lapse tutorial if you have any questions please feel free to contact me see you next time